Hello, my friends. Welcome back to our continuing series of Bible stories. And today we're continuing our epiphany story about Jesus and Egypt. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. For you newcomers, I'm Pastor Mark. I'm from Clinton Avenue Reformed Church, Bergenfield, New Jersey. I'm happy to welcome back you folks who've been listening for a while, and I'm happy to welcome any newcomers who might be here. If you recall, last week we talked about those magi who had brought gifts to baby Jesus, but they had told King Herod that the king of the Jews had been born. King Herod did not like to hear that. King Herod, of course, was the Roman king in Israel. And he heard another king was born, someone who would rival him. Oh, no, no, no. He was not happy with that. You remember that in a dream, the Magi snuck back to their own country. They didn't talk to King Herod. They didn't tell King Herod where they had found baby Jesus. And in a dream, Joseph was told to get the Holy Family out of town. They went to Egypt, the place of the pyramids and the sphinxes. And there they stayed, down in, down in the probably a Jewish settlement. We don't know for sure. Now, how long did they stay there? We really don't know. But we are told in the Bible that they stayed there until King Herod had died. So we think it was probably a few years. We're not really certain the exact year that King Herod died. And so they came out of Egypt. That's Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus, who is now probably a toddler. We don't know for certain on that. But they came back. And the Bible tells us they were probably going to settle back in the town of Bethlehem. Now, even though Mary and Joseph had been living in Nazareth, they both had extended families down in the southern part of Israel, where Bethlehem was. And it could be that after Jesus was born, they had settled there pretty much permanently, except because of Herod, they had to run. So now they're coming back out of Egypt. And they find out, even though Herod is dead, well, his son is now in charge. His son has taken over the kingship of Israel. So, would you want to go back to living in a place where Herod was king? You know, he might have heard from his father all about trying to hunt Jesus down a few years before. Or several years before. Again, we don't know the exact amount of years. Would you want to do that? Well, Joseph wasn't fond of that idea either. So, Joseph took Mary and Jesus out of Egypt he first started going to Bethlehem, but that's when he heard Herod Jr.'s now in charge. So he went up to Nazareth to live. Now, just to get the geography here, if Egypt's down here, Bethlehem is here, Nazareth is way up here. It's one of the more northern parts of Israel. He's getting out of Herod's way into the little town of Nazareth, where he had first met Mary, where Mary had first talked to the angel who told her that Jesus was going to be born. 
Now, let me show you a photo of that. I hope you can all see that really well. See? Look at this. Look at all these old rocks. See? And there's newer bricks and newer pillars and a newer floor here. These are old, but not as old as this is back here. And see that old staircase? We think, we're not sure, that this is the house that Mary lived in when the angel first talked to her and told her that baby Jesus was going to be born. Now, the Holy Family went back to the town of Nazareth. We don't know for sure if they did indeed go back to the house where Mary had lived or to the house where Joseph had lived. We can guess, but we don't know for sure. But Nazareth is a pretty small town. If they did not move into the old houses, well, they were at least close by because there weren't that many houses in all of Nazareth. It's a very small town that's not too far from the Sea of Galilee, way, way up north. So the Holy Family had Jesus born in Bethlehem. Then they wound up fleeing to Egypt. Fortunately, the Magi had given them valuable gifts to fund the trip. Then they came back, but instead of settling in Bethlehem, they came here to the town of Nazareth. And later on, when Jesus started his ministry, He's called Jesus of Nazareth. Because after that, the Holy Family lived in Nazareth until Jesus decided that it was time to start his ministry. And he did that when he was about 30 years old. That's kind of a long time. So a lot of his life, he lived in Nazareth. Maybe, maybe in this house that a church is now built on top of. See, many of these historic sites that I saw in Israel, I did take this picture, actually. Many of these historic sites, churches are built right on top of them. So in order to see this, you have to go inside a church. So the Holy Family, they escaped to Egypt, but now they return. And someday we'll hear from Jesus of Nazareth. And those are stories for a few weeks from now. Until then... This answers the question we asked last week. Did the Holy Family stay in Egypt forever? No, they didn't. Probably several years. But we don't know for sure. But now Jesus is going to be called Jesus of Nazareth. He'll also be called the Nazarene. But that's a story for another day. I hope you enjoyed this story. I'm Pastor Mark from Clinton Avenue Reformed Church, Bergenfield, New Jersey. I do thank you for listening. And I'm going to, again, ask you the favor I ask you every week, please. If you like this, like it on Facebook, make a comment, share it on your Facebook page, and invite your friends to watch it. I want every kid everywhere to listen to these stories because they're very important. It helps us get to know God better. And it helps us to be filled with God's spirit that we can always do what is right. God bless you today, this week, and this whole year to come. Again, this is Pastor Mark wishing you a great day.